Natasha, brilliant test. Third grade leading for Great Britain in all the groups. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I, I went in for a really safe test today and, uh, and pulled it out of the bag. Um, he was super. Um, I think he was a little bit tired. I think I did a little bit too much warm up. He's a very sensitive horse, so uh, he can light up when people suddenly arrive in the arena. Can, we've been working in there for a few days now, but obviously there's nobody in the grandstand and there's several other horses in the arena working with him. So uh, it's very different when you know, you go into the arena and everybody's going out. Well, the other horse is going out and you're left in there on your own. Um, so, yeah, I think he just kind of thought, oh, everybody's watching me, I've got to show off. <laughs> This is only actually the second competition that I've done after London where we've had a day off in between um, competition days. So uh, I think we're just going to go for a stretching day tomorrow. Um, my trainer will probably jump on for like 10 minutes and just do long and low work and I'll probably get on and do about 10-15 minutes as well and just give him a really easy day. Um, and then like conserve his energy, ready for Thursday and hopefully get the gold. <laughs> That's the aim anyway. <laughs> Are you as a team and as an individual feeling the pressure? Um, I think we all kind of do to a certain extent, you know, with, with the success that we've had Team GB over the last goodness knows how many years, well 96 when Paralympic dressage started, we've been unbeaten in, you know, world, European and Paralympics um, in Team Gold, so it is, it is a lot of pressure and we don't want to be on the team that wins silver, so, uh, so we're all going for it, um, but we've got to be careful not to push it too far and then that's when you make mistakes. Um, I think you know this is our job we have to go in that arena and we have to perform and um, you know we know our horses really really well so you know it's just kind of thinking it's just exactly the same thing as we do at home at normal everyday competitions just in a different arena and the success that team gb have had why is that um, I think the, the major thing is the squad, you know, the lottery funding that we get from them is fantastic and it helps us so much and it's just raising the profile of Paralympic sports which is so important for us, you know, I think there was a big leap up after London 2012 which is what Paralympic sport needed um, and hopefully, you know, over the next few years leading up to Rio, the Paralympic sport will get even bigger and will attract some corporate sponsorship and everything and, you know, it, it's just a, kind of like a snowball effect really.